Good morning everybody, Nick from Meat Smoke Fire here for our 100th cook. 100th live cook. This all started in lockdown with a cook for Big Green Egg. Uh, we did lamb and then we've done hundreds of dishes ever since. So thank you for watching. Thank you for joining us today. And thank you for being here on our 100th cook. We're going to continue. Don't think we're going to give it up because we have too much fun. Um, so yeah, um, last weekend was Chinese New Year and we started all of this with doing fakeaways. So I thought we'd do some Chinese fakeaways today to sort of celebrate their New Year, celebrate 100th cook and so on. So we'll do three dishes as normal. Um, but first, she's here on camera. It's Andrea hey! in a coat, thank God, because it is freezing out here. Helena's coat. Oh, Helena's coat. Cool. We have the RB73 on. Uh, I've loaded up with way too much and it was smoking, but it's not now. It's perfect. And over here, we've got Helena and Mama. Um, even Mama's wrapped up. Oh, she's already on the pot. Hang on a minute. How does that work? Pop and more pop? Yes. Okay. Makes it 200. <laughs> okay. Okay. Pop and more pop. I like that. So we're going to open a bottle of pop to celebrate. Let's do that. Andrea, take the Thank camera you. back. So um, this isn't the one that one of our kind customers delivered this morning. I don't know how you do that. We put up that it's a hundred cook. They send me a text saying something's on its way and it turns up about three minutes later. Don't know how you do that. But anyway, thank you very much. I won't say who it is unless you, you can own up yourself if you're on. So we're going to open some pop. Uh, this is just English sparkling, sparkling wine, just English sparkling, English sparkling wine that um, we were sent for Christmas. So we're getting a bit spoiled this week. Um, right, the three cooks. By the way, <coughs> excuse me, I've got a bit of a cold. So I'm a bit sniffly, so bear with me. Uh, three cooks. We have a pork barbecue Chinese style pork, uh, barbecue pork. It's already on, uh, but I'm gonna show you how to make it. Uh, we have some crispy, crisp, crispy, crispy. Uh, crispy. <laughs> well. I should have another drink. Yeah, I'll have a dr another drink. I haven't started yet, it's only you. Um, we're gonna have, <clears throat> like we're gonna do some pancakes. Well, crispy, not crispy, they're spring onion pancakes. Uh, with a dipping sauce they're delicious we did them earlier in the week and we're going to do the crispy that's where the crispy bit crispy shredded beef that these two don't get i love it so we're going to do that crispy meat. So there you go have one of those which one are you on mama Double part. Yeah. Double part, Andrea. There you go. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Cheers, cheers everyone. Oh, and can yeah. I just interject yeah. as well? Uh, yes. Happy anniversary for Monday, you two. Oh, happy gosh, wedding yeah. anniversary oh, for Monday. Yes. Oh, we're full on today. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, right. Let's crack on. Mm. Uh, so someone's just asked about the wall rack. So oh, okay. So wall rack. I haven't been round there. Yeah. Have yeah. I? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. I mean, I haven't had the camera yeah. there. Well, I did. I might have done. Oh. So wall okay. rack. It's just a sleeper. Top five slots. Really accurate. Really nice. Took five hours to cut. That was board. That was in lockdown. It was in lockdown. Andrew was here doing it with me. So the bottom <laughs> 15 slots cut with a chainsaw took five minutes. <laughs> um, but yeah, there you go. Right. Let's crack on. Let's have a look at this egg, Andrea. You might want to go that side. Oh, don't know. I need to put my fizz down. Two right. secs. <coughs> You'll hear me coughing and sneezing and oh. But it isn't the COVID. <laughs> right. Test we're again. there. We're there. We're there. So in this egg, set 180 degrees. I've got it set up half direct, half indirect. And we've got a lovely pork loin on here that has been marinated overnight. And I'm going to show you how to do it. And we're just going to baste that a little bit. So um, we've got a sauce here. I'm just going to baste it. And what we want to do is just cook it um, indirectly. I'm doing it in a pan so it doesn't get too messy, but you could just do it straight on the rack. And I'm going to show you how to do it. And then at the end, we're going to sear it. So we want to get that pork. So we want to get it to about 63 degrees. We might go a little bit lower. It's British pork, so we can cook it a little bit lower. So let's show you how we're doing it. 
Andrea is smiling away, so we've always got some comments. No, only because everyone seems to have adopted Mama, because <laughs> comments are coming on about double parking her, champagne, her drinking yeah, habit. Yeah, yeah. yeah, double parking <laughs> champagne at eleven o'clock in the morning on a Saturday. You know, come on. Excuse me. <sighs> right. So let's show you. He says, still got to. <laughs> we got some <clears throat> cinnamon in a bowl. In here, I've got uh, a tablespoon of Chinese five spice, which Helena kindly went out and got this morning to find out I'd already got some in the cup drawer. Oh. But anyway, uh, we've got two cloves of garlic. So I'll pop those in. We have, <coughs> excuse me, yellow bean sauce. Now you can get this from your Chinese Asian whatever supermarket we've lo we're lucky we've got one a mile away so um, this came in a pouch sometimes it comes in a tin but yellow bean sauce three tablespoons uh, hoisin sauce three tablespoons get that in and then three tablespoons of sugar I didn't say this was healthy um, and two star anise we we'll get all of those in there. And then we've got one tablespoon of white uh, rice wine vinegar. So that can go in. And then we're gonna mix all of those up. And this then becomes our marinade and becomes our sauce, um, our baste. And then what we're gonna do, look at this, filthy already. <laughs> Hopeless. We'll get that going. Uh, and then we've got a pork loin. So I just bought one from the supermarket. I know, I should have gone to the butcher. But pork loin can go straight in there. I'm not going to touch it. Uh, that one's about 800 grams. You can go bigger than that. So if you want a kilo, kilo and a bit. Um, but that's all we needed uh, for today. So what we're going to do is just baste that over. And then stick it in the fridge overnight. So the, that one, the other one that's cooking, was in the fridge overnight. I've only just put it on there, but that can go in the fridge. So I'll stick this in this fridge over here. Out the way, I'm gonna wipe my hands, wipe the board. And that is the first part of the pork. Easy. Right, let's get that bit of spilt. Get these. So um, that is gonna be our barbecue sauce on our pork. And we're just gonna cook that indirectly for about 20 minutes, baste it, 10 minutes more, and it should get up to temperature. I put that on about five minutes before the cook, just so we get it going. So I wanna get it up to temperature, finish it. We're gonna put a honey and water glaze on it at the end, and then we can just slice it and serve it. And that will go on its own. That's the first dish. Everyone happy? Oh. Who have we got on, Helena? Let's come over. Oh, oh we can have a drink. <laughs> yeah. um, Melanie. Morning. Hello, Melanie. Uh, we've got Sue Stone. Which Melanie do we know? Uh, Melanie. Your Melanie. My oh, Melanie. your Melanie. Yeah. Okay. Morning, Melanie. Kevin. Yeah. Uh, my ski wife. Morning, Paul. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> Paul White, who's happy birthday for last Monday, Paul. I will send you a present eventually. I did find it in the car and I found my sunglasses. After I'd ordered another pair. No. Oh, yeah. Um, anyway. So he said he, he knows someone who stores all their spices in alphabetical orders to avoid such disasters. Yeah, and I bet it's him. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely Lucy. Hello, Lovely Lucy. Lucy, uh, Lucy oh, Mackay. Yes. Oh, sorry. Oh, how are you doing, Lucy? Lucy's just said she's lost sound. Can anyone else just verify? Has anyone else lost sound? Yeah. yeah. Sorry to have... interject, Helena, because I know you're uh, scrolling yeah. through. Hopefully it's not us. Anyway. Uh, okay. I'll see if any more comments come up. Uh, Carlos was on. Um... There's us saying, tell us if you've lost sound. If they've lost sound, they can't hear us. If no, you but... haven't lost sound, tell us. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, Sue Stoneham has said we can hear you. Oh, perfect. Thank and you, Franco. Morning, Sue. Thank, Morning, Sue. Thank Morning, you, guys. Franco. Okay. Uh, so, uh, Bill Gardner's just joined. Morning, Barbecue Bill. Um, I don't know H. Eight TJN is um, not a clue. Robert Tetlow. Wow. Um, hold on a minute, we'll just go back up. We've got some Lamont Barbecue, Rob's Barbecue. Phil. Morning, Rob's Barbecue. What's today's dance, Rob? <laughs> Josh Cawthorn. Um, Did you say Phil? Yes. Morning, Phil. Hello, Lovely Phil. Lovely to see you this week. Rodney Wilson, David Steele. 
Franco. Wow. Morning, Rodney. Morning, David. Morning. Smoking Celts. Um, How many have we got on? Madness. We've had 34 so far. Wow. Vicky right. Mumford, Mike. Morning, Vicky. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Right, we better crack on. <laughs> we'll come back to that. So you, remember the ones you said and then you can say oh, the uh, later. Right. No pressure then. No, no. <laughs> right, which do you want me to? Shall I do the crispy shredded beef first? It's up to you. Yeah, right. Let's do it. Crispy shredded beef. Again, I've done a cheat. Right, I've already started marinating it, but there's not a lot in here. So this is just garlic, uh, ginger, some soy. Uh, what else did I put in there? It's all the recipes on the website. So it's all in there. <laughs> that's how we're winging it this week. Well, I've already published it. I mean, how good's that? That's, that's definitely Damn. normal. That's the I'm first. I'm going to put in an egg. <laughs> so a uh, whole egg going in. And what we're going to do is deep fry this. So that's why I was looking in the egg over there. We've got um, some, and it's a little bit hot, but we'll work with it. It'll get cold once we put this in. Um, so I'm just going to get this judged up, get the beef. So what I've turned, done, this is um, beef rump, and I've cut it into strips. Uh, so we're then going to put those strips into corn flour. This is going to get really messy. Mm. Uh, into corn flour. It's already got messy. Yep. Um, I'll do it in two batches, and then we'll get them in the oil in the uh, in the egg, we're gonna deep fry these. Then we're gonna take it out, and I've got some veg and some and a sauce that we're gonna put in there. And we're gonna do that. So let's get these on. Let's take them over. Okay. And then everyone can chat while we're doing this. So this is gonna be a messy thing. In this egg, I have the expander with the wok, uh, the way I like to do it, and we are gonna take some of this beef. Try and stay a little up. It's not gonna happen, but. I said a little bit cleaner. Uh, I'm going to cover it in the corn flour. So this is 130 grams of corn flour. Dirty little cat. Which I'm getting every. <laughs> <laughs> I just, you know. Welcome back off your holiday. <laughs> this, this, I've, I've just wiped this down because this was an absolute chaos from the other day. Yeah. So we're then we're going to put these in. And I will separate those in a second with my spider. Available from all good Chinese supermarkets. And we're going to cook these for three or four minutes just until they brown off and they go crispy. So I'm not going to bother cleaning them because I've got more cement, still, still some in it. Right, other half going in. While those cook off, let's do them with the thing. If you put your fingers in there and do them, it's a lot easier, but it just sticks like anything, cornstarch, corn flour. So we're gonna get these ready, and it doesn't matter if they cool down a bit, because we're then gonna fry them off again uh, in the wok. So I've actually got two, but you can do this in one. You can just pour the oil out of that and carry on. Um, but we're going to fry them off again with those veg and put a sauce in to make them nice and tomato, uh, not tomato, but um, sweet and soury. I'm going to put some chilli in. Look at the mess. Let me just wash my hands. So, any questions, Helena? No. Okay. Anyone else? Oh, so to... I've just asked what people are cooking this weekend. Oh, yeah? Franco's going out. Really? <laughs> is Franco in the country? Well, I've just asked him that. He seems to have had the longest holiday in history. Yeah. Or is that just me? No, um... Oh, he's home, oh. but just for the two weeks. And then where is he going? I have no idea. He hasn't where are you going place. next, Franco? Uh, so Mary is <laughs> cooking um, guinea fowl. Oh, nice. Karen, I did see guinea fowl in, in uh, supermarket yesterday and thought about it. Uh, Karen True Love is doing chicken wings. Nice. That is on the list to do another day. Chicken wings. chicken wings. Yeah, we're going to do a chicken wing weekend. Chicken wings. Lots of different... Yeah, can you see? These are starting to crisp up. What you want them to do is go a little bit golden brown. So the oil in here should be at around 200, 220 degrees. Um, it was up there until you put, you know, as soon as you put in something cold, it drags it down. Um, there's about a litre of oil in there. Right. Jeanette, 
Harvey is doing venison casserole. Oh, oh hello. Nice Nice and Lucy Jeanette. is going to do a roast chicken tomorrow with bread sauce and pigs in blanket. Oh. Oh, nice. See Jeanette later, Lucy tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jeanette's somewhere up north, I think. Oh, north, and John Pritchard's doing wings for the Super Bowl weekend. Oh, perfect. Well done, John. Should have thought about that. Oh, well. In North Norfolk. Is your dog still watching the telly? Does your dog watch me? <laughs> <laughs> Garant. No, he's Garant, yeah. I saw a post this morning, his, his dog likes to watch the TV, so I wondered if, you know, he watches us. Oh, lovely. I didn't realise the lovely Mark from Smoke Bar Smoke Fine Food is on. Morning, Mark. He's Hello, Mark. He's doing braised lamb neck and chickpea ragu. Ooh. Ooh. And then... Um, Ooh, what? Phil mm, is nice. doing... Oh. Skirt, steak and pitters for lunch, and maybe pork pork for pelitas tomorrow. Oh. Boom. Uh, Another date. <laughs> I know where I know where Phil lives now. And I've been then, this week. Uh, Jeanette's having a belated Burns night supper tonight. Ooh. Cool. So I did think about doing something. I bought a haggis this week, only a little one. I was going to do a haggis hash brown. I thought that would oh. work quite nicely. But instead, I went Chinese. Uh, Phil Hi. Gardner's doing black pudding stuffed pork loin wrapped in air dried ham. Oh. oh, hopefully his own air dried ham and his own. <coughs> do you make your own black pudding, Bill? Because Bill runs North Charcuterie. If you're after charcuterie, go to Bill. And Martin, Martin Hawkins is too busy doing golf. Golf? Yeah. Wow. I've seen Martin's golf on, uh, <laughs> on uh, 18 birdies. There's a lot of golf being played. <laughs> I can say that about myself as well sometimes. <laughs> right, we're going to get these out. Uh, these should have gone crispy. But they're all going to go back in in a minute. Do you remember to chop off a carrot? I forgot to chop up a carrot. Do you want to get a carrot and my julienne? Do you know what my julienne yes, looks yes, like? Yes, I do. Oh, my julienne. <laughs> Franco's <laughs> just put, can you play? <laughs> <laughs> Who, to Martin or me? Oh, well, I'm assuming <clears throat> you. Well, I'll tell you what, I had a golf lesson. I've started doing golf lessons lately. And, uh, oh, it was shocking on Tuesday. I couldn't hit a thing. I've been playing really well, but not this week. Oh, no, I do think it was aimed at Martin ah. Hawkins. Yeah, he plays a lot of golf, is all I can say. <laughs> You're allowed to say that. I'm going to turn this up a bit. Um, you get quite a foamy... If you look at it, with all that corn flour in it there, it goes quite foamy. But yeah. these bits... I could do a tiny bit more, but for the... Oh. Mm. Lovely. Thank you, Helena. Right. While this cooks... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let's do the some carrots. This is really cheating. Um, we'll put some in there. You notice how I peeled them and... I'm not very good at this. Right, these will be ready to stir fry in at the end. We'll do one more. <coughs> and then we'll get Helena doing something. Because uh, these pancakes, as good as they are, I've got fat fingers. Oh, rubbish. I suppose I should chop them a bit shorter. Right, there's carrots going in a bit. Right, let's have a look how our pork's doing. See what temp we're at, give it a baste. Oh, look at that. We'll flip them over. Do the other side, let's have a little temp. So pork, um, British pork, you could eat pinky. Oh, we're up there, 57. That is medium rare at the moment. So I'm gonna give it a tiny bit more and then we'll take it off and we're gonna sear it. So we'll give it another five minutes with this based on. And we'll sear it. Right, <coughs> back to our beef. God, steak. By the way, Vlaze units, <laughs> My cupboard or something, yeah. Uh, Blaze units are going up by 40% Jeez. on Monday. So if you've been, you know... I'm in an R in. I'm in an R in. Don't I'm an R too long. Um, yeah, incredible how much they're going up, but that's the cost of materials. Uh, so I've got a question. Yeah. 
Lucy says, does the pork fillet go a bit dry sometimes? Shouldn't do if you don't overcook it. So get it off at 63 at the most. <laughs> um, if you take it further, it will go dry, but then rest it. So take it off, rest it. Right, I'm gonna chuck, these are going nicely now. We've got a bit more heat in there. I'm gonna pop these ones back in with them, just for a minute or two, to get them all nice and crispy. I'm gonna leave the lid open just to get it hotter. You know, if, if you want to get your wok hot quickly, leave the lid open, the option will get in there, it'll go faster. Um, not something we'd normally do on the big grenade, but we'll do it for a couple of minutes while that pork is doing, and then we'll move on to Helena making the pancakes. Do you want to try the new way or the old way? I don't mind. <laughs> Let's do the old way. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to try and do it as one big piece of dough, but um, yeah, we won't. All right, Mum, you're in charge of comments. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't do it. I'll be in charge oh, of bless her. Don't stress. Have a drink, love. Oh, no, you already are. <laughs> Double park. Mine's gone. I don't know what happened there. Blimey. Right. I'm well behind. At least I'm the responsible one. I think I'm being pretty responsible. <laughs> <laughs> what, double parking? <laughs> <laughs> Drinking it slowly. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Right. Let's uh, move the pork, mm -hmm. then we'll do the pancakes, right. and off we go. So, and then I'll come back to these. So let me just... This pork. I'm just going to move it and just give it a bit of colour on the direct side. So if you look in there, it says dropping it. What I'll do is I'll take this pan out so we'll be able to see it better. I've just got the egg set up, half direct, half indirect. Um, so we're just gonna cook it directly for about two or three minutes, flip it two or three minutes, just like you would a steak. Then we'll take it out and then we're gonna glaze it. So I've got in here some um, water and some honey. So I'm just gonna heat that up and then we'll glaze that right at the end as we take it off and then we'll slice it a bit later. Um, it's supposed to be served room temperature. So, right. Room feed. temperature's a bit cold. Yeah, it's a bit, bit, bit chilly today for room temperature, but let's get the feet out. Oh, I can feel that's now really crispy. It's been perfect. It's all come together at the end so quickly and nicely. Not if you leave that sat next to Mum, it won't. Oh, she won't, get, <laughs> won't get a look in. She can't eat all of this and, and drink all the champagne. Don't you believe it? <laughs> We've got any other 74 year olds or 75 year olds uh, drinking themselves silly at 11 30 on a Monday, on a Sunday, Saturday? <laughs> Probably got her age wrong there. Let me just take this out. I'm going to switch walks. Um, How old did you say? 74? No. 75? Maybe. <laughs> right, I'm going to switch walks because I can. But um, you can just pour that away. Right, let's get this one warmed up. I can turn the egg down now because um, it's right down by the fire. So let's go uh, and start the pancakes. We did it before last time, didn't we? Yeah, I am. Um, I'm going to leave your jewellery behind. I, mean, I, I love that lot. <laughs> right, so we have... Do you want me to put some flour on here? Yeah. So this dough um, is just 250 grams of plain flour and 190 grams of boiling water and you knead it while it's boiling so it activates all the, the um, uh, gluten. This is in fours, isn't it? Yeah we did fours. So you can put three to one side and then start rolling. Tell us what you're doing. So you just I'll go and sort out. Pull it into a ball which Nick struggled to do some for some reason. Right, then I, I try to make it round. Something like that. And you roll it out to be kind of. Oh, that's a bit round, is it? So you need it about eight inches, don't you? Yeah. Oh, oh. It's a bit weird. Okay. Okay. So, 
So in here I've got um, some groundnut oil and some sesame oil, about two tablespoons of each mixed together, just whirl them up. Yeah, so the key was, when we did the first one, was we Nick, got them too much. Nick put way too much oil on. So the key is just a bit of oil. And you roll it. It's supposed to be tight. But basically like a fat cigar. So you roll it up. So a bit like paratas when we did those oh, before. Oh, yep. Right, so do that. Then you swizzle them around. Curl it in like a snail, but tuck the end Make bit sure right under push the bottom. Right under. And yep, do that. Like this it. is just to give it layers and to put some of that oil through it. It's not actually, it's actually I think it's a better dough today. What you're saying is that it's got it. nothing to do I with Helena. Water <laughs> <in it this time. laughs> no, it is to do with Helena, obviously. <laughs> but, God, it's been one of those days, isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> right, to get some spring onions all mixed up. Yeah, we brushed it again. A few spring onions. Somebody flying over. So, a bit of sesame, a bit of normal oil. Don't go mad because it just falls apart then. Yeah, it's a bit Some people just use a um, floury slurry. Feel a bit heavier on those because it's supposed to be a quarter of those. Lovely. And then roll it again. Out of the way. Put a little bit of oil in here just to heat up. The key is just to make sure you put it right underneath and then squish it. That'll come good. Now, the other technique was to uh, do it all as one big piece and then roll it and then you get, get that bottom right underneath, isn't it? But squidge it in your hand a bit more. <laughs> or <s> Smack it. <laughs> Doesn't matter if they fall apart a little bit. Mine was mine was terrible. I don't want it to be terrible. <laughs> it's not That's all right. Layers are good. It's supposed to have layers. Beef's nice. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't hear that. Mama's eating the beef already. <laughs> I told you. <coughs> How are we doing? All right, good. Really I'm going to get that pork off. Glaze this. Right, am I doing more than one? Or? Yeah, I'll get that one. Come over. Do you want me to do another one? Yeah, you do another one. I'm just glazing this. So, this is just honey, bit of water, glaze over the top, and then just let it sit. Simple as. Right, let's get this one on. So, which side are you best over there, Andrew? Right, <clears throat> take that. So in here, I've got, um, don't knock the oh, well glass off. Uh, just a skillet, I've got the um, Solid Technics bigger skillet, which I kind of like. A, a cast iron skillet will work perfectly. Bit of oil in there. Get your pancake. And in you go. Simple as that. And that's going to take a couple of minutes, and then we'll flip it. They're supposed to go golden brown. Um, yeah, so we'll leave Helena making a few more. We'll go over here and make a very quick sauce for it. So we're going to do a dipping sauce. So I've got some black vinegar, uh, some Chinese black vinegar. You could use white wine vinegar. It works just as well. Oh, got to need Lexi to open yeah, it. I was going to say. Do people remember that? <laughs> so you want about half of, uh, you know, a couple of tablespoons of that. 
couple of tablespoons of light soy sauce. Get that in there. A bit of chili oil. So I'm using this Japanese, it's La, La Yu. Um, and you can put in, it's got a little um, presser to drip it in. Don't go too mad. It is quite punchy. And you could either put spring onions in there, but we're gonna put some sesames in. A few sesame seeds, white sesame seeds. Give that a little zhuzh. And that is our very simple dipping sauce. So it's gonna have a bit of a kick, salty. That can go on there. The beef is just about to run. Just put that, leave that there for a second. And then what we'll do is start on this. When you're off, how's that pancake? Sorry, don't let me. Okay. Look at that, lovely and golden. Mm. So what we're gonna do is start this. Remind, remind me to come back, Helena. <coughs> so we have a nice hot wok in here. Um, I'm gonna need some oil, just over here. A bit of oil going in there and see how hot it is. We're going to go straight in. I've got one onion and one uh, pepper. We'll get those started. Right, while they're quickly doing, I'm going to do a very quick sauce for them <coughs> for this. So we have four tablespoons of sweet chili sauce. We have three tablespoons of ketchup. So far, I've got it all in there. We have two tablespoons of soy sauce. We have one tablespoon of light, uh, of white rice wine vinegar, and one tablespoon of sugar. They can all go together. We'll give them a whisk up, and that is our sauce to go onto this. So once we've got those cooked up, we'll fry those. Oh, nice. Well done. So that's ready to go over. Just give these a little juice. I'm gonna go and grab those carrots now. So I don't think the carrot is on the recipe, but um, we love it on there. Right, in with our beef. Oh, yeah. We haven't cooked any rice. Anyway, we have plenty. So just get that all warm through now. That onion is just going translucent. You want some bite in it. Uh, the beef's gonna crisp up even more. The carrot's just gonna break down a little bit and then we'll get some sauce on it in a second. And we've got this sauce just sit here. So what I'm going to do is put half the sauce on, zhuzh it around. Yeah, I'm just going to pour it straight over, half the sauce, and then we'll add the other half near the end. Sorry? Yeah, you can put a bit of oil in. I've got it there on the table. Right, let's put some of that sauce in there. Really good, oh, isn't it? Tastes good, yeah. You probably can't hear a thing at the moment. Going with the rest of the sauce. Now, if you like it really saucy, if you're allowed to say that, <laughs> um, then add more sauce. Oh, chilli. We haven't even put the chilli in. So, one minute. I'm going to get a couple of bits of chilli. So we'll just do, we'll just do one today. Seeds in. Nice and punchy. Oh, that's 
looking good. Right, that's good enough for me. Let's take this out, bring it over and serve it. So let's cut up our pancake. Cool. So cut them up into about eight. That down there with a dipping sauce. Got those. I'm going to take the pork now. It's rested. I'm going to slice it. Just that past. looks really nice. really moist because we haven't overcooked it essentially. Put that back, I might just give it a little drizzle of the um, honey. Oh, that's there we go, a bit of honey on there. We dab our left out the over there. <laughs> Won't serve it all, we should put some up there. A few spring onions over the top. You could chuck these in, cook it with. Oh, it smells amazing, Nick. Got my chilies on there to make it look pretty. We've got another pancake. Beautiful. We'll bring it over and let the ladies have a little bit because we can make it look pretty. Too. So, we have for our hundredth cook <laughs> barbecued pork with a Chinese barbecue sauce. We've got crispy shredded beef and we've got spring onion pancakes with a dipping sauce. So let's take it over. Let them try a little bit. Don't make it look unpretty. We've got to take photos. <laughs> Look at that. 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 <laughs> oh. Love it. So there you go, our one hundredth cook. Um, we'll be back next week. I think we've got possibility of doing some extras. Well, I think we've got four on the trot. Oh, of course, yeah. Yeah. So I will adjust the schedule. Sorry. It's better. I'll adjust the schedule. Um, Andrew's warming up by the fire. I am, yeah. Um, I'll adjust the schedule, but we will do as many as we can. So what do you want to see? We've got a special guest here in two weeks. We've got Cheese, who's a family friend, coming up. Ooh, Cheese. Oh, yeah. So Cheese is coming for the weekend, or for Friday, maybe Saturday, who knows. Uh, so Cheese will be up, and he's going to do the cook, so we'll ask him what he'd like to do with us. Um, but yeah, if you've got suggestions, let us know. Um, we'll crack on. Rotisseries are in stock. Big green egg rotisseries are out of stock. I've got some coming in at the end of February. I think I've got 12. Um, after that, the next batch are due at the end of May for the big green egg ones. The Let's Q's are in stock, will always be in stock, and are cheaper and almost identical. Um, so if you can't wait till the end of May, then buy a Let's Q. Uh, Vlaze will go up on Monday. Big for space, we've got the XL unit arriving at the beginning of March. Um, says limited, I've got limited stock of those to start with just to see how they go. 
but um, we'll have one here probably. Uh, what else? I need to thank everyone for joining us over the last nearly three years. Can I just say, well done, Nick. Thank you. Really, really well done. Is this done. mine? No. No, that's yours, isn't it? Rude. Well done. Um, thank you. Yeah, and we'll crack on with some of this. I'm going to try this. Oh, no, have a top up. Oh. 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 Top your wife up. Mm. Right. Oh, that's good. That's really good. We're going to get photos of this taken. We're going to get inside. We're going to get warm <coughs> and eat our lunch. <coughs> what else do we need to say? I'll go and get my shampoo. Yeah, do your shampoos. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Cheers. Andrea. Cheers, Cheers. Helena. Cheers, Cheers Mama. Team. Thank you for sitting out in all weathers, Big drinking love. yourself Very silly. Oh, um, yeah. Cheers to you guys, and we will see you next week, hopefully. So, yeah, we're definitely doing it next week, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So, see you then. Cheers, guys. Bye. Bye.